Previously, we did an episode called We Did a Winery Tour, where we explored wineries that sourced grapes locally in their own Ohio vineyards. So what about urban wineries? They're different because urban wineries do not have vineyards, but instead, they source their grapes from wherever, be it California, Ohio, New York, Europe, wherever grapes are grown. And that's what today's episode is about, a tour of wineries in central Ohio that craft their amazing wines on site, but source their grapes from all across the globe. Such operations have become more and more common over time since the 2000s. It means that winemakers are able to be highly selective with the grapes they pick and choose, and that's good for what goes into your glass. Which brings us to our first urban winery on our tour, Good Vibes Winery in Westerville, Ohio, a suburb of Columbus. Good Vibes is a great location between eateries and shops lining the main street in uptown Westerville. As an urban winery, they offer over 20 handcrafted wines with grape source from Australia to Italy and France and back to California and many others. Want food with your wine? They've got a large and small cheese plate, bread and olive oil, plus Shirley's Popcorn, another excellent Westerville vendor. Or bring your own food in from a pizzeria nearby. You can also enjoy their scheduled entertainers for an evening of music and wine. Check out their website for featured acts and other events during the week, like their book club or sip and sketch events. While at Good Vibes, we sampled a few flights of their finest wines. Which they serve with some descriptive paper rings. And oyster crackers. My flight included Let It Be, Lady in Red, and Mamma Mia. Now Let It Be is a red Bordeaux blend. I could taste big dark grapes with a bold start and a earthy smoky finish. Now the Lady in Red is a very jammy cab which is very pleasant on the palate and silky smooth finish. Now Mamma Mia, my namesake of course, is a very dry Chianti. Not one of my favorites, but I love the namesake. My flight consisted of good vibration. For my taste it was okay with a dry finish, bold and somewhat acidic. I also tried the Lady in Red too, very smooth calf, also a favorite as well. Smooth was the last one. Now, Smooth was a Pinot Noir. It had a very slight tart with a hint of smoky, like dark chocolate. It was great to be back in Uptown Westerville for another adventure. If you like Good Vibes Winery as much as we did, consider reserving the winery for your event. Check out their website for details. Our next urban winery is Powell Village Winery. Now, they source their grapes from vineyards in Central Valley and Central Coast, California. Now, Powell Village Winery is located in the center of Powell, Ohio, which is another Columbus suburb. And as small town goes, you'll find restaurants, coffee shops, breweries, and a lot of village charm. At the Powell Village Winery, they've got a small patio bordering the parking lot. And here we are, rounding the sidewalk as we enter with my brother and sister, Jeremy and Ruthie. The inside is cute and cozy with wood paneling tasting room. There's a few tables and a lot of their wine stock the walls, plus some nice lighting that looks very welcoming at night. Now in this inviting atmosphere, the whole family bellied up to the bar and enjoyed not only wines, but also wine slushies that you can include in your flight. I had the Paloma slushy that was a great fruit and tequila in my flight. I also had the Zen, the Cab Syrah, and White Blend. The White Blend was quite surprising. It was light, crisp, and perfect for a summer day, not too sweet like a Moscato. I had the Chardonnay, a cab, and also something called high maintenance plus the Paloma slushy. Now my highlight was the high maintenance. It's a Bordeaux blend with a fruity flavor that's not too dry. Now about the food. They've got more than just cheese and bread plates. They also have four varieties of what they call full body flatbreads. We ordered the margarita flatbread and believe me, it tastes as good as it looks. Melted over with mouthwatering cheese, basil pesto, fresh sliced tomatoes, and a balsamic drizzle. That margarita flatbread was a hit. Now, parting words for the Powell Village Winery. Go to their website to shop online, join their wine club, or check for events and weekly specials. Also, it's a great place to rent out their tasting room, and they'll do catering too. And now for the last stop on our urban winery tour, and this one is just a little bit of a road trip. About 30 minutes outside of Columbus, Ohio is Buckeye Lake. It's right off of I-70 and a short ride through rural looking county and then you'll encounter a beautiful lake connected to parks and also a great place for water recreation. The Buckeye Lake Winery sits right on the lake and offers incredible views. People come from all around by car or boat to this water oasis. That's right, patrons from around the lake can motor right up to the dock and walk right into the patio. 
and the patio space is super large with a lot of coverings on sunny days. The scenic Buckeye Lake Winery is by far the largest and the most modern destination in our urban winery tour. As an urban winery, they have a sweet white wine from Ohio called Sweet Lake View. And a host of other wines sourced from grapes in Napa Valley and the Russian River Valley. As far as events go, check their website for upcoming musical acts. When we visited, we were entertained by three deuces, or was it deuce and a quarter, or was it Mill Street Blues? <laughs> Brian Preethers led the band, and I think the configuration of this group is called Three Deuces. Whatever group members are present, check out the Deuce and a Quarter webpage to find out where they'll be playing next. And they are pretty good. During our visit to Buckeye Lake Winery, they played a bluesy set as the evening sun drifted down through fluffy white clouds. The scenery was indeed amazing. A great place to sample wines. And they've got wine slushies too. We had a combination white and red wine slushie. It is absolutely nice. And if you're hungry, be sure to check out their menu of small plates and entrees too. Yeah, this is a go-to place for dinner. If you're looking for a tasty appetizer, I say go for the fried green beans. They were pretty good. Now, although our event was outside, remember they've also got a spacious interior, a tasting room as well for patrons. For special events, they've got all the bases covered. See their website for the details. We really enjoyed our visit to Buckeye Lake Winery. It's a hidden gem that is well worth the trip. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Leave us a comment. Be on the lookout for more adventures of Forks, Knives, and Spoons. Long time working, baby. Been long to take care of you. Long time working, honey. Yeah, and paying all the bills. I don't want no mountain about the way I'm supposed to.